Hi, kindergartners. Now it is time for us to do something new. Every day, you are going to choose an activity to either help your brain grow, to help practice some of the skills that maybe you think you need more work on, or to be as creative as you can. We want this to be a fun time for you to practice something and for you to really start building or working with your hands. So there's going to be a bunch of different activities that you can choose from. Try to choose at least one, you could do more if you want to help you learn. So here is a list of a lot of fun things that you could do today. You could write a letter to someone else. You could write it to your teacher, to a friend, to grandma or grandpa, or even to the nursing home in your area. In this letter, you could ask questions. You could even write about yourself, maybe what you have been doing. What is your favorite animal? What is your favorite color? What is your favorite thing you've been doing at home with your family? How have you been soaring? You can even draw a beautiful picture to include it in this letter. Make sure you write a lot of nice sentences and take your time being thoughtful. When you are all done, make sure you write the address on the envelope Seal the envelope and add a stamp. Reading is so important. So you could spend this time reading extra books. Remember to point to all of the words, try to sound them out, and look for those sight words that you know. Read as many books as you can, and then instead of just reading them, you could do another fun activity after. You could write about your favorite part. You could draw a picture of your favorite part. You could write another book review about that book so we know if we should read it. You could even act out one of your favorite parts by setting up your iPad and recording yourself and maybe some of your stuffed animals acting out that favorite part. Have lots of fun and remember to keep reading. Using a whiteboard or a piece of paper, you can write all your capital and lowercase letters. Make sure to take your time so that they go exactly where they are supposed to in the lines. Make sure you don't have any backwards letters. When you are all done, you could draw stars or circle your very favorite letters that you are most proud of. If you have another person with you, I wouldn't really recommend your dog because baby girl wasn't really that good, but you could play sight word go fish or number go fish. All you have to do is make flashcards or use the flashcards we have given you to sort it out into two piles, one for the person that you're playing with, one for yourself. Try to find the matches. Say go fish if you do not have a match. You also can play a memory game. You could write sight words, kindergarten or first grade sight words on flashcards. Then you flip two over at a time, read the words, and try to match up the ones that match. You do this until you get all of the matches. You also could do this with numbers. Write down numbers, make sure that the cards have at least two of that number, and then try to match those numbers together. You also could do this with addition problems. You could write one addition problem on one card and the answer on the other card and try to match up all of the cards. With blocks, cubes, or really anything that you can find around your house, try to make something new. You could put the blocks or cubes together to build towers. I bet you could make a lot of different things. Try to build something you've never built before. Try to make it even bigger than you've ever built before. You could use these things to make different shapes, to make different towers. Make whatever you would like. Try to be creative. Using paper, markers or crayons, and scissors, you can create a masterpiece. Make sure that whenever you cut, you don't throw away any scraps because you never know when you could use that another time. You can use your scissors to cut different creations. You can make different things. Try to be as creative as possible. You never know what you're going to make. When you're all done and you might have little scraps that look like that, those are okay to go in the recycling. 
You also could use your crayons or your markers or even paint to draw or color a beautiful picture. You could even send this picture to someone in a letter. I'm sure your teachers would love to see it. Try to add as much detail as you can. You could even write words on your drawing. In my drawing, I wrote something that I love right in my big heart. And I love kindergarten, so I wrote, I love kindergarten. Using a whiteboard and dry erase marker, a pencil and paper, or even a stick and the dirt or sand outside, or chalk, write your first and last name. Make sure you spell it correctly without any backwards letters. If it is a beautiful day out, and with mom and dad's permission, you could go right in chalk. With this chalk, you could practice your capital letters, your lowercase letters, your numbers. You could make math addition problems or practice your math facts. You also could spell sentences or words. I went to my very favorite place, our school, and I practiced spelling we miss you because we all do. So I practiced this with chalk. Woo! With chalk, you also could play hopscotch. To play hopscotch, you draw a lot of different squares. You draw numbers and you can practice jumping in them. You could even write your teen numbers or numbers all the way up to 100. Play-Doh is also another super fun way to get your hands moving. With Play-Doh, you could practice spelling your name. You could practice making your letters or your numbers. Make sure they're not backwards. You could write addition problems. You could also make some really cool creations with this Play-Doh. Look at how I try my best and I am making a capital letter. Can you guess what capital letter that is? It's an A. I'm also making the lowercase a. I'm trying my best and first I have to make that circle and draw the tail. Oh, here we go. This is so much fun. I am really having such a blast making my letters. Look at how great they turned out. Wow, look at all of those fun things that you can do during this bonus time in your day. Really take your time and try something or try to work on something that maybe you need a little bit more help on or something that you want to keep working on. We are so excited for you to take this bonus time to be creative if you are extra, extra proud of your work. And only if you know that you tried your best, then you may take a picture on Seesaw for us to see. Otherwise, have so much fun and use this time wisely to try your best. Let's get started.